Hey guys, Pokemon86 here, and today I'm going to do another comic unboxing. This time I received a package from PedigreeComics.com. They're a really good website, and you should check it out. They mainly deal with Marvel Comics, but they also have DC Comics for you DC fans. And now, let's do the unboxing. Alright, I started opening this a minute ago, so let's check out what we got. I love packages like these that are multi-package. One time I got one that was like a Russian doll, and it was packaged really cool. I really love those. I think they're neat to open. They also give you a challenge and find what you have for And this one, of course, is wrapped really good. I wouldn't expect anything less from a very repu reputable comic company. Try a different blade. Should have got my box cutter for this one. There we go. Very good packaging. See if I can slide these out. Alright, here's a really awesome one. The Uncanny X-Men 134. And this is the first true appearance of the Dark Phoenix when Jean Grey becomes the Dark Phoenix. My last video I said it was 135, but it's actually number 134. This is a really awesome CGC comic because it has the old red label. Back when CGC started, they, their first labels were actually red. And they distinguished them from modern and uh, Silver Age comic, classic comics. And the red one is the oldest of the labels. There's also blue labels that are similar to this layout. But the red ones came first. And they say the old CGC labels are actually graded harder. And since this is one of the very first ones that came out. And it's a red label. It's a 9.4 white pages. This might actually qualify as 9.6 or better if I sent it in to regrade. So this is a really good deal right here that I got. Try to collect these if you can. This is my invoice. This is the packaging for the other comic. If you can, try to get Mylar sheets for your CGCs if you want to be protected about CGCs. The packaging that comes with the normal CGCs are pretty garbage, so you don't really want to keep those for long-term protection. They're great, but they look better in Mylar, plus they're shinier. This one right here is Amazing Spider-Man 210. 
This is actually nothing really special. It is the first appearance of Madam Web, but the main reason that I picked this one up is this is actually a pedigree comic. And you know if it's a pedigree because it says it has the pedigree that it came from, and this is from the Winnipeg pedigree. And pedigree comics are just very, they're much rarer than normal comics, of course. And if you can find a pedigree, always pick them up, especially if you can get them for a deal like I did with this one. That's the reason I got this one. That concludes my CGC unboxing for today. Thank you.